here after things didn't go so well on their own CT side at half. Maybe they're feeling a little bit nervous now, and that's pressed them down some more here. But we are getting started now with the match. So, Metas, why don't you take it away as the first pistol round begins? Alrighty. Important round, I'd say, here for Dignitas to have to start themselves the best possible way as we move through onto Inferno. Envious looking for a split push here. Two players. This would be Happy and Apex looking to try and fake out potentially onto the app side. While the rest of the team with the bomb in the hands of MVK look to force their way onto B, which is where QB and MSL are currently residing. QB on the coil spots himself a player. Very quick rotation through from Envious. Looking like they're going to go back up mid onto the A side. But still three players there from Dignitas. So no early no damage has been inflicted from either team. And Dignitas will definitely feel like this potential rotation has came in. And there we go. Rubino peeks out, spots two or three players, and then they're able to start to push down Banana. But there's still so much time from Envious. They could even go back to B if they choose. Now they're moving towards it now. It's going to be Kirby. Only trying to sit in the way of this one. And he spots it coming, but he's going to have to fall back. Not really able to pick up any of the damage onto these players. A lot of Dignitas has rotated away from this one. And even some of their guys aren't fully convinced that it's going to be rolling into this site. Thankfully, there's a great flash that's tossed in there. And they get this crossfire rolling right now. They do manage to forge their way a little bit close over here towards Grill. But then Tensky finding another one. Now Happy in along with Apex there. Forging their path back in. MSL still picking up these frags as he comes back in towards Guard and Rubino. That's something to say about this one too, coming in through CT. The rest of Envious is split up a little bit, but Keo and Happy hold their own and shut out the remaining three in just under about two seconds. They take them all down, swing the round back into their control, and they pick up the pistol here on Inferno. On a, on a team of just like raw, ridiculous talent, Kiyoshima consistently shows himself to be a beast pistoler in these pistol rounds. We saw it on train as well. Lands two one taps. There we go, right in the dying embers here of this round. Or well, I should say the previous round, he stands up tall, delivers two fatal blows. And I said before, it's important for Dignitas to get that first round on the board, ease their nerves a tiny bit here on Inferno. And they haven't picked up. Tensky with the Deagle has been tagged down pretty heavily. Conflict's there in the mid as well. He gets picked off from MBK's UMP. A nice start here from Envious, and it's just gone from bad to worse for Dignitas. They've conceded their second player, Rubino, though, through a small crack in the smoke. Does answer back onto Happy, but he's unable to get his hands on the weapon. And Apex trying to move in now to shut down some of the final remaining players here. NBK and Kenny just knocking about left and right. And this is the last one, but NBK handling that very well. And out comes the guys from Envious. They're only losing one along the way here, too, so saving a lot of guns in the process. Happy just going to rebuy with a pistol. We talked about this in the last map again. This is really good because if one player doesn't be going down, if it's Happy, it doesn't really matter. They don't end up losing that much. But if it's one of the other guys, Happy can just pick up his gun anyway. So it saves them a lot of money. It is like the last map. It gets them off to a very good economical start here, losing that few of players. And for Dignitas, obviously, not a very large investment coming in on this round either. We can see just mainly the Deagle and a 5.7 along with a P250 sitting on MSL. Basically, the only things they have, they're going to try to get aggressive with it down mid. But as you see, it's not really working out that well. Four kills, and now the fifth one comes out from Happy. A full wipe there for the members of Dignitas, and Envious, to no surprise, start things off three to nothing on their T side. Absolutely, yeah. As soon as they pick that pistol up, you're just assuming it's uh, a guarantee, really. And Kenny S, every kill he gets to that MAC-10, just puts him one step closer to that all-important orb. But he's going to keep it again, so they've gone for a similar setup to what we saw on Train as well. And to be honest, again, there's three players with that head armor. The MAC-10 and the UMP will be able to shred through those heads, so... I'm a bit concerned for Dignitas here. And of course, if Kenny S does go in first and he dies, he's got an op next round anyway. Happy and MPK both chime in onto Tensky. It's a two for two trade so far, but that A site has been pounded. There's only conflict left alive. He's about to get encircled by terrorist players. The first rack has been picked off. He's going to get caught napping there from Apex. He's still looking towards mid, but Apex is very low. He's going for the bomb plant. Unbeknown to him, though, Kirby starts to push on through. His teammate is there, but Apex gets the final shot, leaving MSL in a one versus two retake scenario. MSL's already made some noise over here, too, so they know he's coming from this angle. And he can hear that gun inside of the sights. I believe he realizes that Apex is going to be sitting in there somewhere. And I think he realizes that Q is sitting in that position to pit, too. So this is a really creative smoke here from MSL. Unfortunately, he plays it way too slowly for his own good. It gives Keo plenty of time to just rack right out from that smoke and take him down anyway. So no one else from Envious is going to end up going down. And of course, the rebuys are going to be absolutely no problem here for these guys as Dignitas lose the first gun round. It was looking good there too with that A-site defense. Rubino, the fact that he picks up two kills in that high pressure of a situation is very impressive. But because he does end up falling, there's only one more player that sits on the site beyond that. And unfortunately, Config, although he said some nice site defenses in the previous map, 
wasn't the case for that specific round. So he only picks up one before he's traded out. And from that point forward, Envy is pretty much having it in the bag once MSL makes some noise. Absolutely. And now Envious realizing the economy is low, just gonna barrel away through onto the B side. The CZ was there, but so was the aim punch from SL. I don't believe had Kevlar, judging by how his aim went all over the place. Kirby has answered back though. The bomb being planted, as you just hear that. And this is looking like we are gonna have a carbon copy of how train started at 5-0. If memory serves me correctly, it was 7-0 before Dignitas started to get rounds on train. Yep around there but Keo lining up the corner shot there taking down Tenski through the smoke and now just hunting down the remaining CTs here Kirby and Rubino trying to line up some good angles but it's not looking like it's bound to happen here Rubino's already fallen away he knows he's not going to be able to grab anything so he wants to at the very least try to save the armor and the 5-7 that he's got in his arsenal Kirby not as much he's opened someone exits towards him but everybody on Envious has gone back out over there towards Banana so they're not going to catch anyone at all Kirby actually finds an AK here. The question is, does he get far enough away? And it looks like he does, but he goes out for a kill. And that's a bit unfortunate as he almost lines up the shot there on NBK. But thankfully, he beats him to the punch on the headshot. And that shuts him down there before he can actually kill him and survive that round with that AK-47. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a huge deal because they can buy back up. But if Kirby keeps that AK, he could potentially buy and drop an AWP for one of his teammates. And an AWP on CT side of Inferno can be pretty huge. Interestingly enough to me, Kenny S, probably because of the economy and the fact he's maybe a bit worried he, got, he might get pistol rushed, hasn't gone for an AWP yet. He's sticking with the AK-47 instead that grenade. So awkward from Kiyoshima. Doesn't do that much damage. I think it's just two to Kenny S overall. It could have been a lot worse. But, envious. Still yet to lose a player. MSL is down to 63, however. A very aggressive push down Banana from both Kirby and MSL. Trying to get as much control as possible. There's still so much time to play with from Envious and a lot of grenades as well. So there is the risk. They could get picked off MSL through the smoke into the head of Kiyoshima though. It's definitely one way to alleviate any pressure that could be forthcoming through Banana. And Envious again. Losing one of their initial players here. Not going to be the best boost of confidence to start it off. But there's Happy lining up another headshot there. Taking down Config on the way through the long haul there. Overpeaks that to a very large degree. And Rubino there getting shut down. Trying to hide behind the truck. Tenski follows suit. And that's going to be quite a few kills from Envy. It's already getting full sight control. I'm judging from the positions on the remaining members of Dignitas. It is going to be a save. And they will seed this round to the French players from Envious. Yeah, pretty much just have to go for the save. See if they can keep these weapons alive. And Kicking Kirby has picked off Happy. That's a... Bit of a saving grace for Dignitas, I suppose, here in round number six. Could bolster their weaponry going through into round seven. But still, it is exactly what we saw on train so far, with Envious taking a flawless lead, moving to 6-0. We saw Dignitas pull it back somewhat on the CT side of train and then go ham on T side. But I just feel Envious's CT side on Inferno is by and large impenetrable, and I can't see Dignitas having that same level of comeback as we saw on train. So this is worrying already for Dignitas. And I'll be feeling it for sure. So Envy is surviving again. Pretty much, I mean, as we were just talking about there, it's pretty much exactly part of the course for the previous map right now. Envy is up to a huge economical start. I think the only difference is that Kenny S is nowhere near where he was on the previous map. Currently only has one frag to himself, but obviously there is a reason for that, and that we're now playing on Inferno. And the T-sided up is that much harder to work on this map. Very, very difficult. In fact, he's not even picking it up right now, whereas he had absolutely no problems doing so on train, which can also be a little bit more of a difficult one. But this one being Inferno, much, much more harder to work that. And he's just chosen to shy away from it completely, costing him his frag count, granted. But his team doesn't seem to be having any trouble picking up rounds anyway. So not too much is missing from Envious with him choosing to shy away from that for a few of these rounds. Absolutely. I completely agree with you as well. All ping on T-side of Inferno, completely different beast of train. You get a much less opportunities. Most of those opportunities are like blink of the eye reaction shots. The smokes and the fact there's a lot of bottlenecks on this map make the Yorpel a much more difficult task to take upon yourself. And as you say, the rest of the team is now stepping up, and that's good news for Kenny. It means he doesn't have to carry every game. He doesn't have to feel like he's that man that's pressured. And of course, back in the day, that very much was the case. If he didn't perform, his teams would just get wrecked. That being said, no players have died from the CT so far. Kirby is low, though. And so is Apex. 50 seconds left. Bomb's been picked up in mid. And still a lot of options here. But Envious thing going to be pushing through. Banana into the incendiary grenade. MSL Kirby gets it straight out on point. He could have had a handful of frags. Instead, though, just gets the one. And now B is open. Can Tenski get there quick enough? No, he can't. He's backing towards A. They move in now. The smoke's already in play. Full control is gained. Config's going to pick up one of the happies. He's trying to lurk in that A site to pick up the players that are going to save. But... 
he is taken down. This doesn't matter in terms of a round victory. Again, Envious have already gotten used to losing like two to three players every round anyway, so this isn't going to impact them that negatively. The problem is, is that for Dignitas, now they're being placed into this very dangerous situation where on almost every single round, Envious just sit back, they wait. Normally, they're going to get one to two kills, and for some reason, the evidence that was given to the members of Dignitas when Envious went for that push on Banana earlier was not enough to convince the players on the A side to fully rotate away. So by the time Envious are on site, there's still basically zero reaction from the two remaining a site defenders over here from dignitas they don't rotate at all and there's there's literally zero chance of them get, being able to get a retake so this is like the third or fourth round now where we've had to see a save because they basically had no other choice yeah i think that in a two versus three they kind of banked on the idea that they had guessed that this re-rotation would come in and hope that they could spring a trap on the on envious so as soon as that doesn't happen as you say they're just like okay let's tap out let's keep the m4s forward into the next round allow ourselves to get full m4s full grenades by and large a decent healthy helping of uh grenades and weaponry the problem is though again it's, it's getting to that point where you look at the top of the scoreboard yes david tass if you can get some rounds that's great but envious are already in a great position like seven rounds on t side of inferno very strong it could get a whole lot worse for bigger tats. So they've just got to stop pulling out all the stops right here, right now. They're, they're running out of lifelines already here. And we're only eight rounds through. And we've got that same formula here from the side of Envious that we've been seeing round after round here, just playing it so slowly. One or two players will press forward closer to the A site. Right now it's Apex inside of the apartments, trying to work something from inside of there. Dignitas have actually fallen away from their own aggression to a very large degree. In some of the rounds before, we were seeing players like MSL, along with Kirby, starting to push out Banana a little bit further. To line up some shots but this is definitely not the case msl has put himself behind sandbags but that's about as aggressive as the entire team has got even on the a site there's no one inside the apartments there's nobody watching rap side there's nobody watching porch they're just on the site itself one's watching from library so very passive defense setup from Bigatos. and it is playing absolutely the way that envious want to have it right now as they're just moving very very slowly closer to that a site and in the process of this boxing out more and more of the reinforcements that could potentially come back in from that b site this systematic approach from Envious has been absolutely beautiful to watch here on the C side. One smoke after another, pushing in together, having each other's backs, covering every single potential cover, uh, angle I should say. And as you can see, just like the kills are lining up for them. Kirby, last remaining player, flashbang in his face, he's going to have to hold fire for now. The call may come through that MBK is pretty low, but still a 3 versus 1. It's unlikely he walks right into the crosshair of Kiyoshima, who will dispatch him with haste. And Envious do what they couldn't do on train, and that's take the 8-0 lead. And now Dignitas, who just forced ball the last round, or full ball, I should say, are in a very sketchy position. Like, they could try and buy again here, but it looks like it's going to be Deagles with Kevlar behind it and some more upgraded pistols. I think... Kenny saw the message in the chat. That or he maxed out on money, because as you mentioned before, finally he's going to pick up the out for himself here. He actually had too much money to go for a rifle buy, so he's now just gone for an out buy to, uh, to empty out the bank a little bit here. But started off MSL lining up some great shots with the Deagle. He grabs two before he's traded out there by Kenny with the op. Ironically of all things. And now we can see those rotations coming in fairly quickly from Dignitas. Still only really moving one over. Rubino, he's going to head through Arches now. So a third is on his way. But Envy is a little bit unsure of themselves here too as they've held back a little bit now. We did have somebody from Dignitas disconnect, by the way. But he's dead anyway, so it shouldn't attack the round. Yeah, that was MSL, who just died previously. So now Kenny S is going like, raw entry mode. Oh, Ooh! Tensky comes in with two one taps. Following in the footsteps of MSL who picked them just beforehand. Now it's all unhappy. A minute to play with. He's got the AK-47. The bomb's in a horrible spot, though, with three players remaining. He's going to try and smoke off and flash his way in and hope for the best. Config is there. There's no real reason for Happy to play this one slow because he's got more than enough money to buy back up again. Molotov's going to land. The force Config into his crosshairs. There's the first kill. He's down at 16. Preemptively goes for the coils. And now going to be looking into shadow. rubio has been caught and he gets spammed down. He's going to fall. Surely this clutch isn't on. Dignitas, do not let this slip through the fingernails. And they have Happy picks up the 1v3 clutch and completely nullifies the six two taps of Tenski. They're going to get the op back too, so that gets tossed right back over towards Kenny. A huge victory there coming out from the side of Envious, keeping the lead. And again, when we look at just the eco... The I think the economical side of things too here for Dignitas, they are going to be able to buy up again, but the psychological part of Dignitas is asked, this has to be absolutely crushed at this point because they had that under their control and that was going to be a great eco victory, but it's been shot, it's been shined, shined away from them once again. And now Envious are just completely controlling this Inferno map at this point. 
dead on the money. Like, you, you finally get some momentum. You finally get something to shout about for Dignitas. Four one digs in that round. All of them were really tasty. MSL opened things up in Banana, and then Tenski on the site. And from all of that momentum, for all of that hype and adrenaline, you then lose a 1v3 clutch. Like, your, your confidence must be in the dirt right now. The good news for Dignitas, at least, is they have weapons to play with. So they're not going into an eco round after that. They are at least going to have M4s with an AWP. Can they make anything work with it? MSL gets the better of Kenny S. That's definitely the right way to start things out. And all these guys are going to push forward here too. As we can see, Envious pretty much lining up that same sort of play that they've been using. This has been their go-to strat for many of these rounds. Just playing it nice and slowly. Trying to find some opening picks. Unfortunately, as you were mentioning before, MSL has a great start to himself. There's going to be one over here. I don't believe Apex expects there to be a second player over here from Dignitas. Toss like in the Jesus polls. So Rubino is going to be able to find a trade to it. Kirby lining up another one over there onto NBK as well. Brings it down to just one more left alive here from NBS. It's going to be happy. Down to a one versus three. Just did it in the previous round, but it's not going to happen this time. As Dignitas do have the guns into their hands. And finally, they will be able to get a round onto the board because of this. Yeah, but now it's absolutely crucial that they keep this momentum going through. You can't afford to lose this round, but Envious could easily move towards 12, even 13 rounds on this half of Inferno. So Dignitas have to step up. They've got to deliver right now. Kenny S with another AWP. There's still so much funds in the hands of Envious. They're going to be able to buy next round and potentially the round after that as well. There are no easy rounds for Dignitas here to play with. And then it's Envious, right? Like, even if they don't have money, they can still force buy, like, Deagles and still wreck you. So, who knows? Apex proved that in the previous map. When he put, well, I think it was three kills while flashbang with a five seven to wrap it up. Ridiculous. So Kenny's gonna press forward now. Has some second thoughts on it because he is getting some resistance from the grenades there. MSL, ooh, just barely connecting that shot on a happy. Almost missing it too, but I think he gets lucky there with the arc that it spreads out to. But he's gonna be dropped to 32 HP after that one, so he has to fall back. He'll take up a position behind truck instead. Hunted's also watching this too. There's currently nobody keeping an eye out for a balcony push. So as Apex finds his way out here, there's literally going to be no one resisting him. And he needs to go for it right now. Obviously, he doesn't realize that it's as clear as it is. And they're starting to shut these guys down. So in drops Apex. There's one and two. Big mistake from Dignitas. Now they've got the site control. But the problem is they've lost the bomb. And also Kiyoshima, the last player alive besides Apex, has gone down. Apex trying to work something, but it's not going to happen. Tenski shuts it out there. He picks up three kills that round. And Dignitas finally managing to chain two together. I'm not sure if that was a miss uh, in communication there from Envious, but the bomb carry is the one that peaked to mid first, and there was another player behind him that got sprayed down afterwards. I feel like if those two roles are reversed and the bomb carry is the one at the back, the bomb gets dropped in mid. That's a lot more helpful for Envious because then you don't have to walk out into the open in mid and just basically get wrecked from arches, as we saw there. It's kind of unfortunate, but good work from Apex, at least, to pick up two frags. But as I said before, Dignitas needs to keep momentum. They've done just that. Now it's just a case of one foot in front of the other. How many hurdles can they navigate? Can they bring this back to a 9-6? That would still be a massive ask, but at least that's doable. I think he said it's a long time between then and now. And in this round, Rubino is going to see action. That smoke isn't going to keep Apex safe. He's going to go back in for seconds. Rubino very nearly picks up a second frag. Pulls out his USP, just narrowly missing out. But MBK is low. Happy is also tagged down. And the bomb is dropped in arches once again. Tenski shutting out one of the final players, and then Config and MSL followed up with two of their own. Dignitas actually showing some very good strength here when it comes to this mid choke point. That's the second or third time now that Envious have tried to just blatantly push through that one with, you know, obvious utility support. And it just has completely failed beyond picking up a couple trade kills here and there. So Dignitas doing a good job. And even in that previous round too, I mean, we talked about Apex. It's good that he finds two kills, but as I mentioned, the only reason he gets those two kills is because Dignitas screwed up and didn't put anyone there to watch Balcony, assuming no one was going to push it, I assume. So he only gets that just simply because of the fact that he has this huge surprise. If he had come directly in from mid-choke or tried to play it from somewhere else, more than likely he would have been shut down too, and that would have been almost a flawless round from Dignitas. So they actually are finally starting to get their feet on the ground here, and if this continues, especially now that Envious' money is a lot weaker, then we could potentially see this get brought back up to about like 5, 10, or 9, 6, which is going to be way better than I think people were expecting a couple rounds ago. Oh yeah, 8-0, you're thinking this is this is absolute horror show territory right now for Dignitas. So at least they have started the, the long climb back up. But uh, Envious here in the pause, I think we had a couple of internet issues there. Appears that we are going to be getting unpaused any second now. There we go. We'll be back into the action. Round 13. A Galil in the hands of Kenny S and a Deagle in the hands of Kiyoshima. Envious lead by six rounds. Dignitas have looked pretty good though these last couple rounds. And as you say, almost a flawless one a couple rounds ago that started to break the curse. Can they keep it up though? I'll use this jinxed it now. 
Maybe. It's gonna buy oh, Casper for me. <laughs> it's gonna be envious just shutting down the last three rounds. I can't wait for the rage of I'm people waiting. that are like big fans. I'm waiting for Keo wait. to just walk out on the A side and get five headshots right now, even though two <laughs> players are on banana. Alright, so Envious actually are just going to go forward again with this mid choke push, which has gone horribly the past two rounds, but they'll continue to do it anyway. They walk up, they don't even realize there's two players staying close proximity. Apex finding one, Rubino is able to pick up the trade for himself. Tenski coming into the picture, finding another one back on Rap side too. They're on the way. The fact that they haven't hunted down Rubino yet is fantastic in itself. But as Tenski picks up that kill on NBK, Kenny will be able to grab a trade for it, shuts down Rubino. And this is now brought into a two versus two scenario. Keo, however, very low. 13 HP, no gun upgrade yet either. He's still stuck on just a Deagle. So he's going to have to play this very carefully. He has that creative angle though. And so long as Dignitas don't actually spot him, if he can line up that opening shot, that could be one of the two players already shut down. And then Kenny just has to finish things off, which should be a fairly simplistic task. If he's going to be dealing with the player coming from library. If that Molotov that Kirby has lands in pit, this could go horribly wrong for Envious. As we're curious to see where he throws it. It is going to be going in pit. It's going to relocate the player. Oh, Kishima darts the other side. I think that was incredibly unfortunate timing from Tenski, who looked away from Pit into the site itself. Now Kiyoshi goes in, that's the first frag, they put the Eagles as well. He surely could pick up the skill to Kiyoshima, there we go! And it is going to be another round for Dignitas. They lost three players, it was looking a bit sketchy, but they clutch it and pick up their fourth round. Very well deserved. Envious a little bit too timid there, holding back for far too long. And unfortunately end up losing both of their players with no trades happening at the end of that. Nicely played by Dignitas. Now finally zero meshing before, starting to get their feet on the ground here. But Envious, they don't want to take this without swinging back here. They're going to force it up once again here, despite quite a few players not being able to afford either an AK or a rifle in itself. Happy's back down into a CZ buy for NVK. He's onto a Galil. We still have a nice amount of utility, so it's not going to really stop their potential to move into the site itself. But when they get in there, the site is probably going to be the biggest problem. But they find two and three and four. What the hell just happened? Envious shut it down completely. And it's just Kirby on the B site wondering what the hell he's supposed to do now. Must be scratching his head, like, uh, guys. <laughs> what? Why, why am <laughs> Where I did you alone? go? Like, th within three seconds, four of his teammates died. That is a WTF moment, if ever you've seen one. Either way, he's going to try and salvage the orc. But there's so much time to play with. And because of a, a sudden boom in economy that Envious will be received after this one, and the fact they want to keep that AWP away from Dig, they may very well try and just chase this down. But Kenny S is going to be delaying this bomb plant, maybe allowing the rest of his team to get into position to try and frag Kirby at the end. He's down to 39, and here it comes. Here comes the cavalry for Envious. Kirby, last man standing. Can you pull this off? Flashbangs, everything being thrown in his face. They're just, they're just going to overwhelm him here probably in a moment. One player is pushed into the garden area, and oh, there's a second miss, and that's all he's going to be able to get out, unfortunately. Apex... Takes him down. They retrieve the out for Kenny or whoever would like to pick it up. And now we have Envious right back into control. That's going to be their 10th round he picked up. Dig the toss, unfortunately, as well, despite four rounds in a row. For some of their players, they weren't really ever able to get the economy into an absolutely perfect spot. So this round, we can see everybody for the most part, with the exception of Rubino, is able to get either a rifle or the op on a config. Uh, but for quite a few of these guys, the utility is going to be extremely light. So that could be problematic here, especially if Envious just line up a smoke push again, which they've been doing for a lot of this half. Oh, Rubino. Very nearly gets himself a second frag as well, but will be traded out from MDK. So good start from Envious. MSL down banana again. Delivers the fatal blow to Kiyoshima. Him and Tenski, probably the standout players thus far for Dignitas here on Inferno. But they still have three angry Frenchmen to contend with. One of which is Kenny S with his AWP. Had a crazy game on train earlier. Saw glimpses of the Kenny of old. Can he pull off some frags here and take this round for Envious alongside Apex and MBK? They've got the bomb. They've got time to play with. They still have a few flashes to use. The config moves in. Gets picked off from Kenny S. And that's going to alleviate some of the pressure. They are starting to push in onto the site. There's a player on there. MSL gets caught in transition. He's picked off as well. And now it's all on Tenski. He's been spotted from Kenny S. Who goes in, lands the flick shot. And Kia B again is scratching his head. Trying to retake. No point saving. It's the last round of the half. But he's going to be walking into Kenny S. Who picks up yet another one? Envious lead, 11-4 at half time. MSL, big mistake from him too, was going for that peak at one point. We caught it on the stream, but he actually revealed himself to Kenny S, and I don't believe he himself realized that. So when he went for the repeak a moment later, Kenny was perfectly ready for that. That immediately relieved the pressure on the offenders here from Envious to push into the site itself. 
and then it was just going to be a shutdown from that point forward. So Envy is straight for it back. They bring it up to 11-4. I think it's a little bit worse than Dignitas were expecting after they had that nice four-round spree. However, considering the way the last map went and considering how dominant Envious were again at the beginning of this map, it's not too bad to bring it up to that point at least. And we already go live, of, of course, guys, with the second half now. Config from Dignitas picking up the first kill onto Apex. And now Envious jump onto that CT side. Can't really stress enough how important this pistol round is for Dignitas if they want any hope of getting into this best of three. Of course, if you have just joined us, 1-0 to Envious. It was a bit iffy, I think is a safe word to say, at the end of that map. And I think Maniac even said on Twitter they struggled to finish it off, but they did 16-11. And now we move across to Inferno. The first half very much going the way of Envious. But Dignitas with that opening pick, looking to try and force their way onto B. And it is just MBK by himself that's on the coils. He can land some one taps. This is doable. He hasn't been picked off just yet. There we go. Kia B has finally struck. And that should be the bomb plant. And really on paper, that should be this pistol I'm going to Dignitas. But Envious still have three players alive, including Kiyoshima, who is a monster in pistol rounds. We've already got Dignitas in full control. The rest of Envious, they wrap back in, but the odds of them actually getting back into the site, they're probably kit somewhere on the ground there, but again, they're just getting picked off left and right here. So this is already going to be one that Dignitas starts themselves off with. And immediately, this is like eight times of a closer game than it was back on train too, because Envious previously, of course, they pick up the advantage there. They're able to build themselves up immediately towards 14 rounds. Here on Envious, they're going to be stuck at 11, unless they're able to force up here and pick up a round upset against Dignitas. So Dignitas actually gets to a really good start. And immediately, this is going to become a very, very close game. Yep, that really was why a pistol was super important to Dignitas. That being said, though, you know, MBS with upgraded pistols are still a force to be reckoned with, so I'm not necessarily going to even say Dignitas will definitely get these next two rounds. But they should be able to get at least one of them. So let's see. Dropping the bomb back at spawn. Almost expecting that a fast push could be imminent, but that's not the case. Envious playing pretty standard. 2 1 B. Rest on A. We'll be backing on off. Now the bomb has been picked up, coming up through mid. Kenny S just shoulder peeking mid, so he can scurry away, get some vital information. And MSL's about to peek him. He has just spotted an MSL, will push himself back. And meanwhile, Apex is setting up for a smoke. Tensky screwing around with the players on B a little bit here too. Just tossing some stuff in there. Trying to throw him off to a certain degree, but I think Envious realized what's going on. Kenny pushing forward, drops the bomb onto the ground, picking up one, and the second on a config, almost lining up a third, but thankfully Kirby trades it back. There's going to be Tensky picking up one over on the B site in the meantime, but Happy does put it back into his own control. Now it's just Rubino. He's down to a one versus two. Happy, hey, has managed to pick up that Mac 10. He's rounding towards mid. That could be dangerous here in a moment. Might be able to beat it, but thankfully Rubino gets himself out of the lane just in the nick of time. He's trapped now though, and Apex falls back, picks up the AK, and finishes it up on his own. Envious strike right back and immediately retain their lead advantage. Kenny S with the perfect timing. Bit of a misplay from Dignitas, though. You saw the first player around the corner decides to switch to a flashbang or a smoke just as Kenny pushes. There's a player right next to him that Kenny then picks off afterwards that was looking at the wall. Like if your teammate has a flashbang out, you really need to cover him because, of course, you're going to be vulnerable. Take nothing away from Kenny S. It was a beautiful play with a 5-7. Nearly bagged himself a 3-man. But still, Dignitas, that's a round you should not be losing in, in such fashion as well. Envious now leapfrogged themselves into such a good position from just a few moments ago. We were saying, you know, Dignitas have a real shot at this now. Well, no, they've just been flushed back down the toilet. So for Dignitas here, of course, they are going to force it up immediately after this Intensky somehow picking up that opening kill there onto NBK. Now these players push themselves in. Happy gets into the mix there. He finds another kill, but it's evenly traded back out there. And Dignitas still maintain a one-man advantage, picking up a couple more guns here too. As then Rubina's going to upgrade to the UMP, but they get a little bit too aggressive there. Config goes into Envy territory there and is shut down by Apex as he pushes through that smoke. It's even back down to a three versus three. A lot of pressure being placed in here by the members of Envious now. As they start to wrap it in, but there's another kill through the smoke. Rubino gets lucky, finds Apex, and now Tensky lining up some of the final guys here. Just going to be Keo trying to very carefully find his way into this site, but I don't believe there's a way for him to get in here without taking too much damage. He's got two flashbangs, but as he re-peeks back out towards CT to retreat, there is two members of Dignitas waiting for him. And Dignitas do manage to strike right back now. And for Envious, the question becomes... Do we continue to play this Ring Around the Rosie game of forcing and then actually getting full buys, but then getting ecoed, so on and so forth? Or do we actually go for a save? And it looks <laughs> like they're going to force again. So it's going to be back and forth here to start off this half. 
This is an economic game of chicken. It's the first person <laughs> yep. to blink, pretty much, and Envious are refusing. So they are maintaining eye contact. The problem is, though, is that if it goes on for too long, eventually, like Envious aren't gonna have a choice. But the good news is Envious, Absolutely. Envious with a lead, like if they just if they just bounce the points back and forth here for the next like five or six rounds, Envious is eventually gonna be at 16 rounds anyway, so it's not even gonna matter. So they can still play this, and regardless if they're eventually forced out of doing this just because they won't have enough money to, they'll still it'll it'll still eventually work out better for them because they're maintaining the same lead and they're getting closer to the 16 rounds. But in comes Vicka Toss now. NBK gets himself right out into the middle of the action. Pulls out one kill. The KRB responding right back after that to pick up an additional one. The rest of Envy is quick enough on the rotation. The plant coming in very swiftly this time from KRB as well. But wrapping back in through the guard, we've got multiple players coming in. They don't expect this to come as swiftly as it does. Apex finding MSL initially. There's a player hiding back over here. Kenny, the KZ skills there. Jumping back in. Gets himself on top. Almost shutting down Config. We're gonna miss the connection there. Now taking him down though, and then Apex finding another one too. It's up to Rubino once again, and a one versus four now. Stuck back over here. He does have an angle on the bomb. Lining up one down to 11 HP. They're trying to find him in this. They're refusing the bomb too, but he gets two more. Thankfully, Apex finds the trade. And I think he should have just enough time to defuse this bomb and for Envious to get themselves yet another round here. Now up to 13, three more away from winning the map. And ooh, it's actually gonna be close, but I think they just get it. And the last three rounds, the, the team that you expect to have no chance at winning has won. This is why you've got to love Counter-Strike. Sometimes it's such a mind screw. So the economic game of chicken continues. Now, I think it's a force buying, refusing to back down. And I completely agree with what you said before, the sentiment that you made, Blue, at the start of last round, which is if this continues, NBSR are going to have to tap out first. It's just the nature of the CT side. So Dignitas consistently putting this in. They desperately need to anyway, because if they echoed that round, they'd be at 14-6. That's probably too far to climb back from an Inferno. And if they win this, it's the added bonus of breaking the economy of Envious once more. So this is almost a two-for-one round. Well, I say that, but the way this game's gone, who actually knows? MBK with the first frag. Anyway, Happy gets caught looking. Maybe a bit of miscommunication. The flashbang didn't quite go off. Four on four. But it's just MBK on the site by himself. What can he pull off here? Can he live up to the natural born killer? No, he can't. He gets picked off from Pensky. And that should be the bomb now moving onto the B site. But Kenny S may have something to say about that. It's happening again. Kenny moving in. He smoked out, but he's able to connect some damage over on a 10 ski, sitting him down at 18 HP, but heavily the odds are against these members now. They're smoked out from both angles. This is going to be a blind repush into this site, but they get two anyway, and then Keo comes in into a third, looking for that fourth. Config finally takes him down, but he's trapped outside now. He's going to try to repush him, but he just walks into the spray for the two remaining members of Envious. There we go. They chain it together anyway. Huge play from these guys. And now they are right back into the mix here, up to 14 rounds. And that is going to suck for Dignitas. How many times have we seen rounds like that, Blue, where Dignitas look like they're a guaranteed certainty to take the round, and then suddenly a crazy clutch happens? I want to say four or five times over these last two maps. It's been unbelievable. So again, they're in a similar position where, because they get that bomb down, it affords them more grenades, it affords them to go for this buy. But they're just in desperation mode right now. And Envious, who made a couple of mistakes the last round, namely Happy, I don't like you know, singling players out, but he went for that, that random push down banana, completely back wide, left MBK by himself. They play this one more standard, they play it a little bit more disciplined. This should be a complete shut up performance from Envious, and Dignitas are going for B again. So they're stuck outside of it right now, and I mean, at this point, Envious have just come to expect it. They're going to stack three here this time instead of the typical two. Dignitas will try to press forward, but the problem is, is there's like an iron wall set up here now. By Envious. They're just going to get ripped to shreds on the way in. There's Kenny with two. Happy peeks out. He finds two. Happy does end up falling, but NBK chimes in with one of his own there, two to end it, and they only end up picking up one kill for that entire round. So Envious now sitting on match point. Dignitas forcing yet again. Pretty much the same exact status quo that we were going to be looking at from the previous round, so not going to be expecting anything different. Looks like we're probably going to be looking at a 2-0 here in a much more convincing fashion on the second map. There's so many similarities between Train and uh, Inferno, what we've watched today, Blue. Both times, B has been the site of choice for Dignitas. I think MBK actually made a tweet saying, I wish we could just remove uh, B on Train because they were getting slaughtered on that. That's how the comeback came in. And it seems like, again, from Dignitas, maybe Envious is just calling the predictions, uh, the very predictive play from Dignitas. And I'm just speaking, it is lights out, counter strike, it's all on Tenski. He's not going to get it done. Envious will take the series 2 to 0 and progress through to the grand finals. They will face the winner of Titan and Team Question Mark. And that, guys, is going to close out this first set of the day. As you mentioned, that next match here should be coming up in just a few minutes.